Okay, class, we're back to the programming section, get you more acquainted with your Acrobat controller. Uh, we're going to rush through this kind of quickly, keep the video short. Feel free to watch it back 20, 30, 40, 50 times, however many times it takes. <laughs> if you get it on one, you're doing great. Okay, first off, we're going to test our lights. Now that we've set all the dip switches to where they need to be, what I want you to do, you got your board turned on, you see it's lit up, this is how it'll normally look. Push scanner button one. Bring all your sliders up, and voila, I have a light. So we know the lights are going to work here now in DMX. You can bring them back down. Now you can do that with each of your lights, but anytime you turn the scanner button off and click to another one, you're going to have to bring the sliders back down to reset and then pull back up again. So remember that when we get into programming the scenes and stuff. Okay, so your lights are all tested. We're ready to program some scenes. You know what the sliders do by now for your particular light and so on. Over here, the program button. You're going to hold that down. A little light will start blinking in the LCD display. Right beside program, you're in program mode. And that's what it means to enter program mode if you are reading instructions and trying to follow along that way too. Okay, we're in program mode. We want to program scenes. Right here in your LCD display, it says 101. That means scene one of bank one. You got 30 banks, eight scenes to each bank with this particular Acrobat controller and 90% of the manufacturers that put out a 512 controller like this. Okay, first thing we want to do, pick our light we want to use for this scene, bring up the sliders, mix around a color. I'm going to do a basic uh, stepping pattern here for you guys utilizing um, different color for three different lights. We like that red. What you're going to do now is turn scanner one off. Your light's going to stay red. Turn scanner two on. Bring your sliders back down. Pop them back up and boom. Now we have light two. To show the difference, we're going to make it green. Turn it off. Hit the next light in your sequence, bring your sliders down, pull them up, blue. My third light's blue now. We like that, we want to save that scene. You're going to go right below the program, the MIDI add button, or it may say MIDI record on some controllers. You're going to hold that down for a second. Come over here to scene one along the top of your controller, the eight buttons. Push scene one. And you've seen the board flash at you. Accepted your command. It saved that color now in a scene one, bank one. Now, when you want to continue on to the next scene, simply turn that light off you were using. Go back to your first light. Bring the sliders up. You see it changed. We'll just go all white here. We're going to leave that one all white. So, again, we turn it off. Turn on the next light. Bring your sliders down. Pull them back up. It's all white. This is just... A really repetitive process. Once you get this sequence down, you'll be able to fly through this stuff. We're back to our third light. We're going to bring them all up. I have them all white. I like that scene, so we're going to save that scene. Remember, MIDI add for a second. Scene two, the board flash. We're going to keep moving on. Go ahead, program eight scenes right now on your controller. And then we're going to show you how to switch banks, keep on recording your scenes, and in the program mode.